my lovely squad and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so february 2020 let's see what is going on in our world the world of taurus now this will be for sun moon rising and venus taurus signs and keep in mind guys that the energy is transferable it could be something that's happening directly to you it could be happening to a person around you or in an environment around you so always keep that in mind but i hope you guys are well all right so what is going on with squad I'm happy that this was the first reading after um, Aquarius. They're going to be first this month because it's their birthday month, but I always go in the order of who views uh, their video the most. So if you guys keep showing love, I'll be able to do tours first all the time. All right, y'all. So let's see what's going on. Okay, squad. What is going down in February? Okay, guys, so the energy that we have here is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be maybe when you're reconciling with somebody, getting into a relationship, maybe you're getting back with someone that you were in a relationship with, but you took a break or something. This could also be something that could be draining you, or maybe you guys are like overspending. So there's something here that was draining you. You guys have a hard time moving away from it, but you're seeing things very clearly. And there's definitely a huge bullet that's being dodged. At the same time, though, you guys have a victory that comes in at a time where you're kind of feeling low about something that really changes your life in a drastic way where it brings a lot of happiness all right so let's jump into things let's see how everything goes down so starting with the past we have a magician being in a place where you can create where you can manifest whatever it is that you need you don't need help um, from anyone else this is like completely in your control why is this magician here the five of wands And we have the five of pentacles so there's something that you're trying to create here but there's burden there's tension there's fighting um and i feel like either you have to reject something that you're trying to manifest because of this or something you manifest could be seen as problematic so i feel like you guys are doing something but most likely in silence because somebody might feel a betrayal or someone might feel that this is harsh but you're really going after something that is natural that you really want Okay. Now we have the temperance card in the reverse. This is your soul telling you, look, this is not it. This is not for us. Get out of this. Okay. Something's not right here. Something's not balanced here. I feel uneasy. You have the ten of pentacles in the reverse. You could have lost a lot of money here. You could have just lost feeling happy and abundant here. Okay. And you have the page of pentacles. So while you're going through this loss this rejection this betrayal whatever this was something comes in and it's new it's in the new stages and you're really excited over this it's something that really um keeps you emotionally feeling very well uh it could be a pisces cancer scorpio someone that has you know water in their charts but it's like it's justice in a situ in a karmic situation so if you guys especially if you feel like you have the short end of something you know uh prior to February, then it's like the, the universe is giving you something in exchange that's good. It's like, oh, all right, I know you went through that shit. Let me hold you down. All right. But there's definitely something that you guys were unhappy about, a uh, situation that wasn't good, you know, at home. Uh, maybe this was bullshit with the family. Maybe this was bullshit with the partner. But something, you know, a home was not happy. Something was just not, you know, doing well here. Someone was disappointed with how something, with how something worked out. Let's see if I could talk today. It's Friday, and I'm like, I want to be very productive, but there's also tequila, not tequila. Oh, I wish I had tequila right now. There's vodka in the freezer, and maybe a little bit in front of me. Okay. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You guys are upset because there's something that wasn't reciprocated. Somebody wasn't doing the work in something. Maybe you guys weren't doing the work. Maybe you felt like you weren't being met halfway. It just it wasn't going to work out, but guess what? You put that in the past and you got something again that you really desire that's very natural for you. All right. Now, um, with the present moment, we start with the Knight of Wands. This could be fire energy, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But this is just someone who feels alive and they're very passionate, just like in the card. They're having a good time. You know, uh, they're dancing. They're listening to, they're making music, whatever this person is doing. 
and things are good. It's like really just living life and taking things in. It's a beautiful energy to have. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, wow. <laughs> Taurus, our readings have been so fucking bomb lately. I'm like, I'm so happy I'm part of this. Um, so you choose to no longer work on something that you know is reckless. And you're just like, look, this has too much adversity. I'm letting it go. And boom. I dodged this bullet. Do you see the success that I have now in another area? So um, if there's any sort of pain you guys felt, anything like that, it's it subsides. There's something that brings in a lot of healing. Um, but the core of this reading, the center of this reading is, dude, why the fuck did I spend so much time on that? That was such a waste of time. That's what the energy is. Okay. Why is this here? We have the Five of Swords. Two of Wands in the verse. So you guys are very clear on what wasn't working. There was something that you were looking for, working on that. It's just it wasn't for you. It wasn't the path that you were meant to be on. Um, and you can feel conflicted about it. You can feel conflicted within yourself. But because you guys made that call, look at what you have. A lot of you could be going towards uh, fire energies, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But guys, there's just a lot of love and passion in this. Um, you guys made a really good call. Don't be so hard on yourself with what didn't work out, whatever. At least you're just not still in it. There's a lot of people that beat themselves up. You know, I spent three years in this. I spent, you know, a few months in this. Okay, are you going to keep spending more time? Cut your losses. Keep it moving. A whole life awaits you. A whole ass life awaits you. Okay? But yeah, something had to go. But because you let that go, whatever burden that was... You guys have passion, so that burden is going to subside. I'm not worried about it. The last card that you have for the present moment is the sun card in the reverse. So this could be an unexpected blessing that comes in. This could be something that's trying to block a blessing from coming in. Three of swords in the reverse. Where is this going? And the two of pentacles. Um, oh, it's so good to be a Taurus right now. So guys, um, yeah, you're going to be looking for balance. You're going to be kind of conflicted with something that you know you need to release. But something comes out of nowhere. You don't see this coming. Okay, it happens very suddenly. It brings healing. But And it's like you're still looking for balance. And you're trying to decide, you know, should I go for this? I just let something go. Is this a good idea? So you're really trying to decide, is this the right move? Okay. Now, moving forward, um, we start with the strength card in the verse. So this is when something could debilitate us in some way. Now, I'm going to show you guys all three cards. We'll break them all down in a moment. But there's something here, and this is such a Taurus thing. You're really upset over something that you can't control. We're so fucking entitled to this thing. It's just like we don't like sudden change. Um, and it's not that a Taurus will want to control a person or anything like that. But we want that security of, you know, like let's say it's love, a relationship, whatever. We want the security of knowing that this person is going to be next to us in the morning. Like we don't have to worry about that. It's just like, no, I know you're going to be here. I need that solid ass commitment. So I feel like for love and just when it comes to committing to anything, it could be very tough for a Taurus because it's like, when we say we commit, for the most part, because we do have our low vibrational Tauruses, and honestly, the most evil person I ever dated, well, top two, top two evilest person like I ever dated uh, was a Taurus. The, the guy had the same birthday as I did, so he was fucking awful. Um, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> but um, yeah, he was a devil. But we, when we commit, we commit. So that's why we get so fucking distraught because it's it's not that it's easy for a Taurus to commit to something. Like we're we're picky people. You know, we like what we like. The Taurus, we like the finer things, we like things that look good and feel good and make us feel good. Um, so when we have that and we invest all into it and then you know something just changes overnight, we don't deal with that well. Y'all should have seen me dealing with breakups when I was like, you know, in my in high school. It's just it was crazy how I reacted to shit. But yeah, it's such a Taurus thing. You guys lose control over something and you're crying yourself a river, okay? Or maybe somebody else's. Maybe someone doesn't have control over you, okay? So what's up? Why is the strength card in the verse here? 
Six of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So you guys are putting something in the past for good. It's just that you guys, yes, you have this new thing that's incredible, but there's something you haven't closed out 100%. There's something that needs closure and you're walking away from it. You're going to stand your ground when you walk away from it. Um, but I feel like it's going to hurt you to be cold. But I feel like that's what needs to happen because you're going to have a very honest conversation with someone or something and someone's going to feel betrayal. Someone's going to feel sad. Okay. But that situation was pure illusion. It wasn't something that was meant for you anyways. All right. You guys got to do what's good for you. Um, Taurus is sometimes we're the fucking suckers, man, sometimes because it's just like we want everyone else to be good around us. And are you OK? Are you sure we don't want to, you know, step on your toes? But they don't give a fuck how we feel. So Taurus is do what the fuck you got to do. OK, chariot in the reverse. Why is this here? What did we lose control over? Who lost control of us? Something, you just stop going towards it. Like, it's just abrupt. You guys just stop it. Nope, don't want this. You see shit for what it is. You guys choose the new passionate beginning. Okay? But again, that's going to be the biggest thing. You allowing yourself to have this new thing. Okay? And I definitely feel like there's some sort of offer that you're going to accept, but you're going to keep it silent for a little bit. Okay? Um, a lot of you are going to get a strong love offer this month. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So again, somebody who's in their feelings, crying up a river, feeling unstable about shit, whether it's you or someone around you. Two of Cups in the reverse. Whatever you're dropping, there's going to be sadness over it. It just keeps showing that. But guys, um, whether you were really invested in this at some point or not, excuse me, you guys get to a point where you just don't care. And, and that's the thing, like, if I know a person, like personally, and they're a Taurus, and I know that they're not crazy, they're not a low vibrational Taurus, when I see them go off on someone or when I see them really cut someone off, I'm like, damn, what did they do to get you to that point? Because it's not easy for us to get to that point. But guys, not only do you get to the point where you strongly let something go, but you don't give a fuck the way you used to, if you even did. Or it could be something that you were just never that invested in to begin with and now you're letting it go and someone's broken. Um, I don't feel that the pain comes from the Taurus and I'm not saying that because I'm trying to, you know, soften any sort of blows because I'm always going to be 125% real with you guys. But you're unbothered. At this point, whatever's being dropped, you're not, you're not losing sleep over it. Why? Because you knew you had to let it go. And you have this. Okay, this is your focus. That new passion. That new love, that new job, that new hobby. All right, squad. Let's get some cards of advice here. Sun card, seven of swords in the reverse, seven of cups in the reverse. <laughs> Guys, this is so beautiful. Okay, so you've gotten to that point that I say it's so difficult for a Taurus to get to, and that's when we say we quit, we give up. Okay, if you get a Taurus to quit, like you, you really just, it just, we, we are right of dies, okay? Now, you're so guarded just in general because you're tired. You've been through a lot. You, you didn't get what you wanted or needed out of a situation. Maybe you feel depleted financially, but you're, you're tired, okay? So because of that, you're doing everything with reservation, and that's okay. If you're coming out of something that was kind of crazy, you have every right to tread carefully and to really just take your time with things. But guys it's like something comes into your life in such a solid way where it's just like let's say over here we have like a whole ball of negativity this thing just like slices that out it's like nope this is done that moves to the side 
let's work on this new chapter. So you guys really get yourself to a place where you you zone in and or you hone in rather and you really take a moment to think what's best for me what should i do and out of nowhere you know you guys have this beautiful blessing and there's something that is revealed here we're gonna pull um three clarifiers just to see you know this in more in depth rather but Usually the seven of swords in the verse is associated to something negative, like finding out someone's cheating or somebody was lying about something, whatever. In this case, a secret comes out that makes you very happy. So maybe a proposal, maybe, um, maybe you just started something new and you didn't want the world to know until it was solid. And now it's like, haha, surprise, this is what I've been working on in silence. Okay, let's see why this is here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you guys have something new that you're really working towards and it's great, but either someone is stuck on you um, or something is stuck on you or you're stuck on something, okay? But this new thing brings in so much abundance. There's something from your past that feels kind of betrayed by this. Okay, but you're, again, you, you remove yourself from the situation. You're not even involved anymore. It's like, I'm sorry you feel that way, but deal with your emotions, and I hope you get better. Send them a get well card, because you're good. You got your blessing. You have this. Focus on this. Focus on your happiness, Taurus. Okay, this is really incredible, guys. Um, just be confident in the fact that you deserve good things. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. You know, this summer I was just hit with so much. Um, I haven't felt like the pain I felt this summer, just with certain things I went through personally. Um, I hadn't felt that pain in years. So I was just shutting down so much and it's just like, damn, I mean well. How is it that so much is changing around me? Because I just, it wasn't just one thing, guys. I swear there was like a moment where I had to deal with like, so many major life changes and it all came at once and I'm just like fuck what is this about and guys it was hard and I did everything to try to make the situations better like right away and I'm like no let me do this bada bing bada boom bada bing bada boom but I kept kind of like stumbling into problems so I just take a moment where I just I literally just came home one day and I'm just like you know what and I just sat still and I'm breathing and i'm just like you know what was that you're a dope as fuck you have done so much for yourself you can do so much for yourself even if someone were to take everything that you have right now you take my channel you take whatever everything that i made everything i did to create it, it's right here that can never be stolen from me there's no such thing as like ground zero anymore like i'll always be able to build up quickly so when I took that moment and I really just forgave myself and allowed myself to just have a fucking moment to breathe, that's when everything started changing. And I don't know what it was, guys. Like, my mentality just, it changed so drastically. For those of you who have been um, following my channel for a long time, when I, like, you guys can scroll through old videos, but when I started this April 22nd, 2017, um, I was a, literally a fitness model. You know, I was so, so small. And then I just went through so much in the years. I gained like 30, 40 pounds. So I just had so many like self-image problems. I was very um, insecure. I'm the type of person that I'm used to kind of getting like called out at in the street and stuff like that. I'm used to the attention. So for two or three years, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm hideous. And I just, I wasn't, you know, I just wasn't putting myself out there the same way. I didn't have that same sort of glow. And just all these things, like, again, recently, I'm just like, yo, who gives up? fuck I'm so fucking dope and I just got back into my thing you know I'm working out again it feels so incredible because I'm a fucking beast when it comes to it not to toot my own horn but yeah I'm getting back into it and guys the moment my mentality changed my body hasn't changed yet my shit hasn't changed yet but the way the world and the people around me like are receiving me now it's insane I truly feel like I can get anything that I truly want because I fucking deserve it and so because I've had that mentality, amazing things have been happening. So I really want you guys to open up and have that mentality and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel went wrong or whatever. You're you and you're beautiful. And you got to love yourself. 
And the moment that you do, the world will agree, okay? People can't love us if we are not in a place where we know how to love ourselves, all right? So, squad, this is amazing. I love you guys so much. If you guys want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is highvibrations44. My tarot Instagram is highvibrationstarot. And if you guys are on um, Twitter, Bruja shit. All right? So, all of this is in the description below. If you need a reading, it's there too. Take care, squad. I love you guys.